Hello, today we'll be replacing the front brake pads and rotors on the 2010 Subaru Impreza. And the first thing I do is set the jack into position and lift the vehicle a little bit. And we can now listen the lug nuts, which I believe I use the 19mm socket for. And now we can lift the jack a little more until the wheel's off the floor. And now we can remove all five lug nuts and remove the wheel. And as you can see, the rotor has a lot of grooves and is very glazed. With a surface like this, your braking will not be as good and will cause a lot of brake squeal. And now on to taking apart the brake. And the first thing we'll do is remove the two bolts holding the caliper to the bracket. And now we can just slide out the caliper. And you can just move it out of the way or hang it from the strut. And now we want to loosen the two caliper bracket bolts. These bolts will be kind of tight so you want to use a longer ratchet. A deep socket will not work on the upper bolt because it'll hit against the strut bolt. So you want to use a short socket with an extension on it. And now we can remove the brake pads. They should just slide out fairly easy. And now we can completely remove the caliper bracket. And now to remove the rotor, all you need is one bolt. And all you do is thread it into one of the two threads. And after a little tightening, it should just pop off. And you do want to pay attention to the size of the rotor. And this is the part number of the rotor. So I decided to go with two new rotors and a ceramic brake pads. And you want to compare the brake pads as well to make sure they match. And now we want to add disc brake lubricant to the contact points of the brake pads. And you want to match them up to your old brake pad and add lubricant to the contact points. This brake lubricant works very well in keeping your brakes from squeaking. And you want to do the same for the next brake pad as well. But you want to add lubricant differently because the contact points are different. And next we can add brake lubricant to the caliper bracket. The first thing you want to do is make sure there's brake lubricant on the caliper slides. If left without lubricant, these can stick and cause uneven braking. But you also don't want to add too much or if not they will be hard to get back in. So we'll add brake lubricant to the contact points. But you don't want to add too much brake lubricant. And lastly, we can add brake lubricant to the corners of the brake pads. 
This will keep the car from making squeaky noises when you press on the brake pedal. And now we want to clean off the brake rotor surface with brake cleaner. This cleans off any anti-rust coating that they put on the rotor. And you want to be sure to spray the other side as well. And now we can install the rotor onto the hub. And followed by the caliper bracket. You want to push in on the rotor as you turn the bolts. And now you want to tighten them and torque them to specs. And now we can install the brake pads. And your brake pads should be sitting flush against the rotor. And now to open the brake caliper so it accommodates the new brake pads on the rotor. You want to use an old brake pad and a spreader. And all you do is alternate from one side to the other. And you want to do this till both sides bottom out. And this step does push the brake fluid back into the master cylinder reservoir. So you want to keep an eye on the master cylinder to make sure that it does not overfill. And I do not recommend opening the bleeder valve to avoid any further problems. And this is the brake master cylinder reservoir that you want to keep an eye on. And if it does seem like it might overfill, you just want to remove a small amount. And we can now install the caliper. And you want to push down on both caliper slides so it makes this easier. And we can now install the two bolts. And you want to torque them down to 20 pound-feet of torque. And you want to spray down the rotor one last time with brake cleaner. To get rid of any grease or fingerprints that may have been left on the rotor. And now we can install the wheel. You want to install the lug nuts by hand so you do not damage any of the threads. And once you get them done as much as you can, you can use a ratchet. But you don't want to torque them until the vehicle is on the floor. So you want to remove the jack stand and lower the vehicle to some weights on the wheel. And lastly we could torque the wheel down.
And now all you want to do is repeat the same process on the other side. And once you're done with that side, you got one more very important step to do. You want to pump the brake pedal a few times so the brake caliper opens up against the brake pads. 